Hello everyone, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program Point Two Three. That's right, this is the newest iteration of Kerbal Space Program. Uh, well, in this screen it looks a lot like Point Two Two, but still, it is Point Two Three. And my intention is actually going to be to play it stock for a while. Actually, with all versions, I start out playing stock for a while. But what I want to do is go through the career mode, go through the tech tree in stock. I didn't do that with point two two, but now in point two three, it seems like it would be a good thing to do, especially since now we've got both the moon and Minmus with biomes, and I feel like we've got enough to do to keep things interesting. I'm going to set a few rules for this particular series. I haven't named it yet. It'll just be my point two three series. Um, the rules are uh, that well, obviously there's not gonna be any science spamming. I'm not going to quick save a quick load, that's just normal for me. Uh, but the main rule is that there will be no unmanned missions, no uncrewed missions, no pro missions at all. So all missions will involve Kerbals. We still take Kerbal safety as our highest priority, but there won't be any testing. They will all go up in prototype craft and I will have to try and make sure those prototypes are as safe as possible right off the bat. Now there are a few motives for why I'm doing uh, things this way. First of all, I do already have two very fully modded series. Uh, the Institute for Kerbal Studies and the Elegant Design Bureau, the original series. And given that I have those two, I don't feel a need to create a new modded, modded series. So that's one thing. Second of all, it gives me something to do while I figure out whether or not the mods are updated for 0.23. So while I'm trying to figure out whether I can upgrade those other series to 0.23, I can play 0.23 stock like this and have some sort of uh, premise to work with. So that, that's my plan. Um, there's another reason, and the other reason is that I am going to be going on vacation. So I'm going to be recording a whole bunch of these career run-through uh, episodes all at once and uh, scheduling them for release on YouTube. So that's that's also another plan. So during Christmas vacation, because I'm going to be away from my computer, you'll be seeing those scheduled releases while I'm away. I'll be back before New Year's, and hopefully by the time I'm back, the mods will have been updated. All right? So let's... Well, let's not go to research and development. Let's just go straight to the VAB to see what parts we start off with and try and go on our first mission. Okay, so uh, here we are. Obviously we will need a command pod. Uh, oh, I like these, this new uh, dialogue. I hope, I hope having this new little uh, part dialogue means that all the information will fit now so it doesn't run off the top of bottom of my screen. But uh, here we are. That looks very neat. Now, the question is, what sort of uh, container and rocket do we want? Do we want to use solid? We are missing a lot of information, aren't we? Ah, oh, there we go. Right mouse, mouse button. Okay. Very important. Right, right mouse button for more information. Okay. Huh. Okay. Well, they're missing one little uh, detail. They should specify the empty mass of the booster. Uh, this obviously doesn't have an empty mass, so that's fine. But the booster sh has an empty mass, should be specified. Here... Yeah, uh, they have the liquid fuel and oxidizer, and you can do the math. You can say, well, the mass is 1.125 minus 0.45 minus 0.55, and then get the answer. But really, empty mass is an important value. And the reason it's an important value is because, let's say here, We've got uh, a mass of 3.75 and the solid fuel is 3.25, so the empty mass of this one is, 3 point, uh, is 0 0.5, roughly. Uh, that's important because I need to know how much I can put on this with just this parachute. See? Ooh, why is the... Isn't this parachute supposed to be white? Looks gray now. Is that okay or not okay I don't know anyway uh, the point is I've got this one little parachute and I need to know how much mass things are and here you see this liquid fuel engine is 1.25 
this empty is going to be just 0.5 so this actually means that the parachute will have less less work to do if you will uh, we we can do this safely I think uh, and that means that we don't need the decoupler right because last time in 0.22 what I did was I did the experiment on the pad you know checking the soil sample on the pad and all that stuff but I don't want to do that this time I want to actually do our first experiment in flight and in that case I need to have a rocket that can return to the ground safely okay and this seems to be one that can because the empty mass of the solid fuel booster will be fine Jeb is really the only Kerbal that would think of uh, flying on a solid fuel booster with no control over over thrust so we will definitely have him do this so we'll call this alpha and I will save it and let's uh, let's launch it and well hold on <laughs> we do not need the parachute staging at the same time as the booster okay let's launch it and hope for the best okay here we are and uh, SAS on I, I don't really like the gray in the background of this. I, I did like it better when it was transparent. I, have, I, guess, I guess there must be a reason for doing that that I'm not quite aware of. So I'll, I'll just leave it at that. Okay, I don't really need to put up the throttle because we have no control over the throttle. Jeb, I hope you enjoy this. Up we go. The thrust to weight ratio on this thing must be phenomenal. Uh, <laughs> It's a good thing we do not have Ferrum Aerospace or Denley Reentry installed, otherwise this would be very, very bad right now. Okay, Jeb, give me a crew report. The shores look inviting, and you watch the waves roll into the coast. Okay, keep that data. I, I didn't even check how much uh, we got for that. Uh, no, uh, well, how much did we get for it? Uh, recovery 3.5 science, okay. Uh, keep data. Okay, still going up. Really like a speeding bullet here. Oh, we've got the monopropellant, right. We've got some spare monopropellant in the command pod, that's neat. Okay, that's the end of that. Jeb is loving this. Let's see what our apoapsis will be. And uh, once we start going down, I'll activate the parachute, but not before that. Now, once we do land back at the KSC, wherever we land, I will have him get out and do a soil sample and uh, EVA report. I think that's fair. I mean... Uh, I did actually launch it this time. Let's let's do it that way. Okay, just waiting for our velocity to bleed off. Speed really, since <laughs> direction hardly mattered in this case. Okay, very important inf information coming up. Uh, on this solid rocket booster and nothing else, we managed to get up to around 18 kilometers. Congratulations, Jebediah. Not quite space, but not too shabby either. Certainly uh, beyond many aircraft, not, uh, not the most high-flying aircraft. It's about 54,000 feet. Certainly managed to get above a bunch of airliners, and uh, but not quite above weather balloons, I guess. Okay, we're going down now, so let's uh, let the parachute do its thing. No point uh, being slow about that, because we want it to produce as much drag as it can. Now, one other thing is we don't really want to land on anything that's too bumpy. Uh, the edge of a building would not be a good idea. I hope that we land on something flat. Otherwise, Jeb might still be in grave danger here. I 
I don't think there's any point doing a new crew report. I mean, replacing the old crew report. I don't think this would be any better. Okay, I think I can time warp. Uh, don't show this again. Oh, that's how you can tell that I haven't been playing this. So... Okay. Uh, looks like flat ground. And will we get under 100 meters? I don't know if the 100 meter per second limit is actually something in stock or whether it's something I have to deal with in fair marrow space and daily re-entry. But we, we're safe either way. Uh, looks like it's going to be this part. part. Okay. Um, huh. Alright. Oof. I've done this before, I think. Is it still safe to EVA Jeb right now, or am I going to kill him? Okay, uh, Jeb, EVA report quickly. This is a most pre precarious p uh, situation. Yes, keep that data and board as quickly as you can. All right, uh, so we got that. EVA report while flying over Kerbin Shores. That's good. And now we're just gently drifting down. 7.8 meters per second is pretty much a limit. I mean, uh, I'd, I'd say 10 meters per second would be where I'd say it's too much. So if we tried to put the liquid fuel rocket, the LVT-30, plus its um, fuel container, that would have probably been too much for this. I don't know. I, I wouldn't try it. We would need a decoupler in that case. And hopefully, with this uh, mission done, we will be able to purchase a decoupler. Now, in this in this series, I am going to try and go through the tech tree quickly. That's that's my goal. I'm not I'm not gonna duplicate anything I'm doing in any of the other series. So we are going to try to take care of this quickly. Ooh. Uh. Okay. I thought the parachute would be enough to handle the saw rocket booster, but apparently not. Well, uh, good thing that did not affect the survivability of Jebediah Kerman. And in fact, actually losing the solid rocket booster means that he can get out and get back in now. So that's good. Alright Jeb, EVA please. Right, so let go of that. Uh, do your funny little walk. Uh, could you get a soil sample here? Surface sample. This substance is what makes the scientists yell at us when we go into the labs without cleaning our boots first. Recovery, nine science. Definitely want to recover that. EVA report, please. EVA report, please. I don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary to get here. Keep that as well. Um, and I don't think there's any reason to wander about here. Uh, if we want to do any, any more science, we have to launch rockets. So, it's just... It's not... Uh, this is not... Kerbal walking program. This is Kerbal space program. So we launch rockets to get to places and then do the experiments. So yep, I think we can recover the vessel now. Jeb looks happy. Well, that's that's impressive. 25.5 science on our first mission without unlocking any new parts. 3.5, 5.6, 9, 2.4, 5. And uh, consider, I did not use any stupid little thing where you try and blow off the boosters, which is potentially detrimental to our Kerbals. We, uh, we did the whole thing properly. And now let's take a look at our rewards in the Research and Development Building. Oh, here we go. Uh, I haven't actually played... So this is technology, and then we have the science archives here. So let's take a look. We've got all our science cataloged here. Uh, Surface landing, I guess that's what that means. Flying low, okay. And uh, those are all our crew reports and EVA reports. They're all done in Kerbin. We haven't done anything on Duna yet. Out of a total of five, so it tells us how many we've got to do. 
Oh, uh, oh, out of to total of five is uh, of the ones we've done. So it doesn't actually tell us how many there is left to do. So that's left as a mystery, but at least we'll know what we've already done. Okay, uh, back to the technology. So uh, we'll definitely unlock this so we can get the stack decoupler. Research that. And... What sort of uh, additional business might be we be interested in? I guess, I mean, we can unlock any one of these. I'll, I'll go with survivability because that's, that's our priority here. So survivability important to us every single time. All right, so let's go back to VAB and take a look at our next mission. So I'm going to develop things directly from my previous rockets. So we just take that off. Now this was, I'm gonna explain everything as far as my thought processes since why not. This was a 250 thrust, this is a 215. And we've got these. Now, this can carry a maximum of five tons into orbit. This little pod is uh, give or take one ton with the parachute. So, this is another ton. This is another ton. This should be easily able to handle that and more. But we'll just put that on for now. Uh, ooh, oh no, I need to sneak a decoupler in here for when we come back down. Another decoupler on the end there. Let's call this five tons just for buffer. It's nowhere near five tons, but that just means we have spare thrust. Okay, two of these let's say is another five tons, so now that's ten tons. And the max for this one is what? Uh, 21 tons, 21.5. Well, we're not going to get that much on it, so we're going to have quite a bit of spare thrust. Let's say four of these containers. So now this is uh, going to take 15 tons, and that can do 21.5. It itself is 1.25. So again, we have some buffer, and I, I hope this is not too tall for, for everything. And we can still sneak this one out on here because... Even uh, even if this was all 21 tons, then this is 3.74. It should be still a thrust to weight ratio of more than one. So there we have it. We have a rocket, uh, but we have a rocket with everything in the wrong order. This goes down here. This one goes after that one drops. These that goes after there and then that's fine. Alright, so this will be beta. And for once it won't be Jeb going into space first I think. I think we will have Bill go. No. Let's have somebody clever. Bob. Bob is clever though lacking in courage but yeah let's just do that. Alright, so saving this and let's go out to the launch pad. Okay, and for this mission, you notice I didn't put on an antenna. I'm, I'm just planning this as an up and down mission. If we get into orbit, that's fine. And I think we can, but I'm, that's not part of the plan. We're just trying to get into space. Bob is excited as anything. Alright, so here we go. Ooh, look at that. Alright. Well, I... Uh, even with the buffer, I was cutting things finely, so I guess it's not too much of a surprise. I hope uh, we've got enough control on the top to manage things. Right now, it's a bit dodgy. Seems to want to drift west. I'm going to have to add some yaw to correct that. Bob... I don't know how to read that look from him. Now remember, we don't have any gimbling on this rocket either. So... So it's all down to the capsule at the top to keep this under control.
Huh. I thought I had some buffer on this, but it looks like it's a lot closer than I expected. That's fine. Uh, this, I, I sort of automatically do this sort of thing. And so when I think buffer, maybe I, I am cutting it a bit too close. Well, Bob, one way or another, you're going to get to somewhere new. That's our goal here. Question is, how far? I guess we'll probably end up having him ditch in the ocean somewhere. There is a lot of ocean. And uh, doing the surface sample and crew uh, and EV report from there. I have to sort of remember that I'm not dealing with Ferrum Aerospace and all that stuff, all the other mods that I use. It's difficult, but I, I don't want to rotate yet. It's not efficient to do your gravity turn early in stock, as opposed to in Ferrum Aerospace where you should tilt a, uh, put a slight tilt into your rocket starting fairly early on. Bob is looking worried now. I, I guess he's really only happy when he's on the ground. Otherwise he's got this panic look on his face. Oh well. Well we're about to do our gravity turn so let's find out if any of his worries are justified. We gotta keep it nice and smooth. or at least try to. You know, we have monopropellant in the pod now. But I thought it was supposed to be EVA fuel. I thought in the... in KerbalCon they said monopropellant and EVA fuel were two different things, but here we've got monopropellant. So, do the Kerbals have EVA fuels in their packs now? Or do they just have monopropellant? I don't know which way I'd prefer actually but well we'll see uh, I'm sure I'll have a time when I'm gonna find out if we get into orbit we're definitely gonna find out um, actually I think we're gonna find out in this mission what they have in their EVA packs Alright, everything's looking good for space. And he's chuffed. He's he's alright. It's been a while since I've had I've burned a rocket that uh, used fuel so slowly, is it? I don't know. It just feels like uh this is burning fuel very, very slowly. They said there are a lot of optimizations built into the game now uh, with the new version but I think those are only optimizations for vessels with lots of parts right now with just so few parts I'm not really seeing any benefit I mean right now I'm, I'm not getting the frames per second I I would love <laughs> but anyway Okay, here we go. Cue the music. And... There we go. So, I guess we can get into orbit. Whoa, uh... <clears throat> We're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here. Let's bring that back down. Okay, uh, Bob is in orbit, uh, eccentric orbit, but, you know, Bob is an eccentric guy, so, yeah, let's, let's do these things now. Bob, EVA, please. Now, let's find out what's in your pack. EVA propellant. 
So where does he get it from? <laughs> I guess is the question. Uh, yeah, we've got EVA propellants, but how much EVA propellant do we have altogether in the pod? Anyway, EVA report. If you record your observations about the situation, nothing special above Kerbin's water, but uh, eight units of data. Let's store that. And now that we're in space, can we also get a crew report? While in space near Kerbin, it seems we are very much in space right now. The sky seems to be mostly below us. Indeed. Keep that data. Reaction wheels. Not enough... What? Not enough electric... What? Um, we have electric charge. Operational? Not enough. Operational? Not enough. Let me just take SAS off. Now that's operational. Okay. I don't get that, because electric charge seems to be perfectly alright right now. Uh, much to my surprise, of course, I'm still adjusting for the fact that Ion Cross Cruise Support is not draining it constantly. Um, so yeah, so I have to remember that I, I don't have to be quite as concerned about electric charge now. Well, I mean, still have to be concerned, but not quite as much, especially since I don't transmit information back usually. I usually bring the information back. Okay, well, now that we're in orbit, I guess the thing to do would be to make sure that we get some info above other biomes. Uh, I don't think I can aim for the grasslands here. Well, let's see. EVA. Can you tell me... Oh, Kerbin Shores, alright. Yeah, keep that. Though we do need some flavor text for that sort of thing. I, I hesitate. Well, of course, this is going to be a stock series, so I'm not going to install the flavor text provided by the community. Okay. Tough to hit Kerbin's shores. That's a, that's a tough one sometimes. Okay, we're on the dark side, so I can't even see what biome we're over. Well, let's do one now, Bob. EV report. Oh, we're just in space high over Kerbin now. I guess we've passed the limit, so that's fine. Good deal. Jeb is going to be so mad at Bob for doing this. I mean, getting all of the science, all of the reports. We're still high over, so there's no point in me doing anything more here. How is Jeb going to, uh, going to beat Bob? Well, we're going to have to find out. Ooh, lag as we get back into not high over Kerbin. Okay, this looks like something new. Bob, can you try this one out? Uh, Kerbin's water. No, I think we've already done that, Bob. Uh, board anyway and dump the experiments. Let's see. Okay, this, come on. Let's try this. Hopefully this is Highlands or something. Highlands, yeah. Alright, got that one. And if we just go a little bit further, this should be Grasslands. Nope, still Highlands. Uh, just bored. Dump experiments. Alright, so that's the Highlands. Let's go for Deserts. Yep, got Deserts. Keep data. Board. And more water. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Resources are fine. Uh, our home continent is approaching. Can we get grasslands once we get around here? Tough to see exactly where we are. Okay, try this one. Hopefully either grasslands or mountains. Nope, still highlands. Uh, well, I'm just going to say board, dump experiments. Uh, a little bit further. Please let it not be highlands. Mountains, okay, good. Mountains. Good deal. 
and just a little bit further away from the mountains as we come close to the KSC we should get grasslands right EV report nope not yet um, just guess that's what we have to do How about now grasslands alright board so I think that's 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 enough I think we've done quite a lot now I think Bob is satisfied with the situation. So, let's get a maneuver down, oh, wrong way, to bring Bob back. Where should we do that? Okay, again, since I haven't played around with stock in a while, I'm not too sure. I've never even been able to get this right in uh, Fermi Aerospace and Deadly Reentry or stock how I should make my orbit if I want to get him as close to the KSC as possible. I guess the main concern is to make sure he doesn't hit the mountains. So I'll, I'll have to think about that too. Alright, so uh, SAS back on. And are we still having weird stuff about not enough electricity? Yeah, it's still twitchy telling me there's not enough electricity every now and again. All right, time warp around. Excellent word, work, Bob. We look forward to seeing you back on dry land, or at least water. Let's see how we're doing here. Hmm, not at all what I wanted. <laughs> Well, Bob, you might have a little bit more of an experiment to do once you get down. I think you're going to hit desert. Or maybe the water here, I don't know. Good thing we don't have deadly reentry because this is going to be a steep return, Bob. Hold on to your hats. Moonrise. Hope Bob is appreciating the view. Not much of a view in this capsule, but uh, still. Any view is better than no view. I guess we could manually slow down just to make sure I don't hit any highlands that might hurt our poor Kerbal, but I think we're going to be landing in safe territory actually. Alright, I'm gonna make a token retro burn here. Okay, ditching that, uh, the service module, we'll call it. And I think we can open the parachute. Let's say us off. Uh, Bob, don't worry now. We're all right. You're all fine just a minute ago. Okay, don't know quite how high this land is. So I don't want to time warp too much just in case it opens far above 500 meters. Which uh, it will open above 500 meters, but I don't know how much, but how much it will be. Okay, well, I'm just going to go normal speed right now. Considering how frightened Bob looks, it's a good thing that we had Jeb do the Daredevil act, getting out on EVA while the parachute was open. Obviously, we get more points for doing it here if I thought, well, Bob is looking a little bit better. We get more points for doing it here because this is a different biome. It'll be flying over desert. Uh... Oh, phew. okay, good. Parachute is open. Okay, Bob, do you think you could do the EVA thing? Well, you look happy. All right. Okay, come on, quickly, quickly. Yeah, but it's over the deserts, which means it's something different. Board, and we're safe. Did I say something about uh, our first priority, keeping our Kerbals safe? Well... There are exceptions to that rule. All right, let's get to the ground. Well, I mean, it's not too bad. After all, Yuri Gagarin had to actually jump out of his capsule on the way down in order to parachute down because if he had stayed in the capsule, he wouldn't have survived. So I guess, you know, Getting out of the parachute on the way, uh, getting out of the capsule on the way down is somewhat standard. 
might even be safer than staying in the capsule. Okay, let's uh, recover vessel and see how much we got from this. Woohoo, okay, so 76.6 .6 science. I think uh, we don't have any excuses for doing any minor missions anymore. We're gonna unlock some science right here and right now. And uh, after that, I'll call it an episode. And yeah, okay, so crew port while in space, EVA from water, EVA above the shores, EVA while in space high above Kerbin, highlands, desert, mountains, grasslands, the works, if you will. And then, of course, uh, oh, what was I doing? I just, I just, okay, yes, I just forgot to do the surface sample and the EVA report from the desert. We landed in a desert, we could have gotten the, we could have gotten the EVA report and surface sample, and I totally forgot to do that. <sighs> well, no matter what. Whatever mistakes I make, you will see them. So, so there, there you go. All right, let's let's just go into the. I mean, it's not like we were short on science this time anyway, and it'll give it'll give all our other carbonots something to do. So let's just go to the R and D facility to get some more technology. Okay, so let's set up the next episode. I'm going to just fill out basic rocketry and stability. Sounds very helpful. Do we have any left? We have 44 left. Is that enough to buy any of these? 45, 45, 45, and 45. So no. Okay, so I think that'll do it for me for this episode. I know it was really basic stuff, but at some times you do have to go back to basics, and it's always refreshing to do so. And next time I'll do more interesting things, and I'll continue to show you my some of my thinking while building which will make this a little bit different. Um, so yeah, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. And if you have any comments or suggestions for what I should do, make sure to contribute them below, and I'll see you next time.